Drew here, Frisco Tennis Shop. In this brief video, I'm just going to discuss four different ways you can get more power from your tennis racket. Uh, if you're hitting from the baseline, uh, your ground strokes, and you're looking to get a little bit more power on those shots, these are four simple ways you can get more power from your tennis racket. One simple way to get more power from your tennis racket could be adding some lead or tungsten tape to the inside frame of your racket. The 12 o'clock position has traditionally been the best way to get more power on your ground strokes because it's more weight and uh, going to make contact with that ball. Uh, so it's gonna help power through that ball a little bit more. Make sure you don't lose too much of your racket speed, so you wanna monitor that. And a lot of players today wanna make sure the racket stays head light. Uh, so you could also add a little bit of weight to the handle in addition to the top. Uh, but 12 o'clock traditionally has been where people looking for more power will add a little bit more weight. Uh, three and nine, a lot of people will add weight uh, to uh, in help with stability at the contact point. If you're getting racket twisted in your hands on a lot of ground strokes and you're looking to get a little bit more stability, a little bit more power on that shot, adding to the three and nine position can help with that as well. So adding a little bit of lead or tungsten tape on the inside part of the frame is a good way to increase power. Assuming you don't lose too much racket speed, uh, you can increase power by, by doing that. Just make sure if you use lead tape like a lot of people use, wash your hands afterwards because uh, it is actual lead, so just be careful there. But lead is very common. A lot of the top players today put lead on the inside part of their frame to get a little bit more power through the swing. A second way to increase power from your tennis racket is simply lowering the tension. A lot of people uh, may know this, but lower tension will get a little bit more power at the point of contact. You're going to increase the trampoline effect. Softer strings should give you a little bit more uh, trampoline, a little bit more flexibility so it snaps back. So all else equal, by lowering the tension, you'll get a little bit more power from that shot. Um, just make sure you don't lower it enough where you lose your the control. Uh, you know, sort of the old saying in tennis, higher tension, more control, less power. Lower tension, more power, less control. Uh, it's definitely true. Uh, it, you can actually probably go a lot lower than you think. I did a, another video on that, uh, especially with polyester strings. You, you can go lower than you think and still have pretty good control. Uh, but if you're not getting a, as much power as you'd like from the baseline and want to keep the same string, Lower the tension by maybe five pounds and just to see what you think. So if you're playing with 55, try 50 to see if, uh, if you like that feel better or if you wanna go back to, to how it was. So lowering the tension can definitely increase your power from the baseline. A third way to increase power from your tennis racket is by your tennis string uh, raising the gauge or using a thinner string. So in this case, this is a, a very popular polyester string called Slinko Hypergy. This is a 16 gauge string, it's 1.3 millimeters. Very durable, great for heavy hitters, but if you're not breaking a lot of strings, this is an 18 gauge, 1.15 millimeters. By using a thinner gauge, you're actually gonna help the trampoline effect, and there's less string for the surface area, so it's gonna give you a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more power, a little bit better feel. I've also done a video on the benefits of thinner strings. Uh, one of the benefits is you will get more power, all else equal, because uh, it's gonna increase that flexibility, put more pressure on those strings, uh, which is gonna be great. Uh, for power, but it may not be great for durability. So if you do this, say you go from the 16 gauge to this 18 gauge and you're breaking too often and, and you're tired of restringing too often, uh, you may have to go back to using the, the gauge you, you wanted. So using a thinner string can definitely help with power at the point of contact, give, give your rack a little bit more power. Uh, because if you use a real thick string, it's gonna be very durable, but it's gonna be real stiff. Uh, not a lot of power from the baseline, but if you go a little bit thinner, assuming you don't break a lot, uh, you can definitely increase power from the baseline. Fourth way to increase power from your tennis racket is actually changing string materials. If you use a polyester string, polyester is made for durability, spin control. Uh, most of the top players in the world use it or a hybrid. Uh, you can use switch it to a nylon, multi-filament, synthetic gut, a natural gut. Those strings are all going to be more elastic and give you more power. The trade-off is not as much spin, not, not as much control, and um, a lot of times not as much durability. So you can either try a hybrid uh, string uh, by keeping the same string and adding a nylon, multi-synthetic gut with it, or try a full bed of it. So in this case, this is a Yonex Poly Tour. This is a popular polyester string. Say you use this string and you like it, but you want to get a little bit more power uh, uh, from your tennis racket from the baseline. This is a Yonex Rexus, a very popular multi-filament string, very soft on the arm, a lot of power. Maybe try a hybrid and mixing the two with, with this. Or if you want, try a full bed of this. You're not getting as much spin as, or durability as you would with this, 
but uh, maybe after using it, you realize you really like that power, that soft string bed that this multi-filament gives you. So you can change the string material, and that's another way you can get uh, some good power from your tennis racket. I hope you found this video useful. Just remember by adding weight, lowering your string tension, changing your string gauge, changing your string material, these are all ways you can keep your same tennis racket that you like and uh, increase power from the baseline. Uh, obviously in tennis today, it's always great to have those ground strokes, hit those great passing shots. So if you feel like you're not getting as much power from the baseline, try one of these things to see if it's a great fit for your game. Below in the description, I'll link to some softer strings that I like that when people are asking me for more power, uh, strings I'll recommend. I'll also uh, put some polyester strings uh, that I can go thinner gauge and still get some pretty good durability out of. I'll put those in the description below if you have any interest at all. This has been Drew from Frisco Tennis Shop and I hope to talk soon.